stop. Before we start breaking things, let us explain what tempered glass is, what it can do and why we chose it for our side window panels. Well, tempered glass is named after the process in which it is created. It all starts with a quite regular glass panel which is cut to size. Then it's being heated to the melting point again, followed by a rapid air cooling. At about 600 degrees Celsius, the glass starts to bend beyond its transformation point, which is the state between elastic and stiff. When cooled down at this point, the surface immediately contracts again while the core, which is still warm, remains expanded. As a result, the tempered glass remains in a state of residual tension. Minimal tension, of course, but tension nonetheless. Tensile stress at the surface and compressive stress on the inside. Or the other way around, the surface suffers from a pressure load. If I choose now to work the glass with a pointed object and some real pressure, it will inevitably burst into thousand pieces. And this is the reason why the tempered glass cannot be cut after the thermal treatment. On the other hand, the glass side panel is now about seven times harder and way more resistant than normal glass. It can even withstand a misguided stone throw. And this is what it's all about actually. If your temper glass side window happens to bump onto a piece of furniture while moving, or if you accidentally kick your PC with your foot, it usually comes out of it without a scratch, literally. And if it happens to break, then this glass has a very characteristic quality. It bursts into many little pieces, which usually don't show sharp edges. This reduces the risk of injury, but you really shouldn't try it at home for many reasons, but mostly because it creates quite a mess. If you like this video, then please subscribe our channel. We have created very informative videos in the past and will continue to do so in the future. And as everybody loves a bit of mayhem, we are going to end this video with a successful destruction.